<gasps> Where's your biscuit? Did you eat it? You ate it already? <clears throat> Do you want another? You want another, Dolly? <clears throat> okay. Hi, everybody. Thank you so much for joining me here again today at Rewritten Vintage Homestead. It's a hot one out today. It's about 91, and I don't know why. I'm, I'm strange this way. When it's really hot outside and I don't want to go out, I like to cook. <laughs> I like to cook and I like to bake. And so I've been trying to reinvent some recipes. And Marshall loves these treats. They're made by Blue, Blue Buffalo. And they're, they're the best treats that we've found. Uh, the healthiest. The ingredients are oatmeal, oat flour, barley, rye, chicken meal, apples, yogurt, dried egg, flax seed, chicken fat, carrots, oat fiber, salt, cinnamon, and then it does have preservatives in it, oil of rosemary, and vitamin E. But, I mean, it's it's fairly all natural. The, the problem is is here where I live, they are $7.99 a bag. And it doesn't say how many is in a bag, but uh, what I can tell you is Marshall thinks every time he goes out to pee, which is about four or five times a day, that he should get a blue buffalo treat when he comes back in. So I wanted to try to develop uh, another healthy alternative that I can make at home that he might like as well. So let's see. Let's see if he does. So the recipe uh, that I'm going to do today only has four ingredients. And we're going to start off with a couple bananas. And the first thing I'm going to do is take my pie crust smasher upper. I don't know what you guys call it. <laughs> and I'm going to smash these bananas good. so that they're in little bitty chunks. That should do it. Or if you have a masher of some kind, that works too. But I have two bananas in here that were really, really overly ripe that I'm gonna use. And then to that, I'm going to add one egg. And a third a cup of peanut butter. Try to get the healthiest peanut butter you can find, you guys. Nothing with a whole lot of salt or preservatives. Uh, but this is a third cup. And you know what? We could eat these if we wanted because they're all... <laughs> It's all natural human food. So, so far we have two bananas, one egg, and a third cup of peanut butter. I'm going to mix that up with my mixer, and then we'll be right back. I've been having a blast with my grinder, making all kinds of things and trying out new recipes. And so today I'm going to make oat flour. I've got three cups of oats. I'll pour that into my grinder. This will only take about 30 seconds. And I'm not gonna uh, make your ears suffer. I'll show you when I'm done. Look at that beautiful oat flour. And I'm just gonna add that to my mixture here as I get it done. It's gonna equal three cups. And then we'll mix this up. If you don't have a grinder, you guys, you can use your food processor uh, to grind up your oats. And you're going to have some little chunky pieces of oats in there, but that won't hurt anything. And now we're going to mix this up until we have a nice dough. So, so far we had two bananas, one egg, three cups of oat flour, and peanut butter. Third cup of peanut butter. And we're going to stir this up until we can make a ball out of it. And then we're going to start cutting our treats. It is going to be sticky when you're done. 
So you might want to put a little flour uh, on your working area here. I'm going to use my Indian corn flour. So that gives Marshall a little extra boost, boost of health. And then you roll them out. It's just like we're making cookies. Uh, the fatter you roll them, the softer they're going to be. The thinner you roll them, the crunchier they'll be. Marshall likes crunch like his mama. This is a great way to use up those old bananas that you don't want to throw away. Now, so for Marshall, I thought he would enjoy the rabbit cookie cutter <laughs> since he has been very busy chasing rabbits in our yard here lately. I need to find a squirrel. We have big fat red squirrels. I just love them, but so does he. Okay, next I'm going to put these on uh, a cookie sheet that's lined in parchment paper. I'm going to bake them at 350 for about 16 minutes. We'll check them out when they're done. So these uh, dog treats turned out great, you guys. Uh, they're very crunchy and crisp. They smell good. They, did, they only took 16 minutes to bake and four ingredients. So very economical compa compared to what I'm uh, paying and a good way to use up bananas that are too ripe uh, for you to eat. But I'm not the judge, right? The true judge is going to be Marshall Dillon uh, after he takes a pee. <laughs> so let's see what he thinks. Let's go get a treat. Is that good? You like your rabbit? You like your rabbit? That's good stuff. So our homemade dog treats appear to be a winner. And you know, guys, that's the whole point of everything that I do is to just try to do something. Do something so I learn something new. So maybe I save some money. So maybe we're eating a little healthier. So I feel productive and that I'm taking care of my home and my family. And I hope you guys will remember those key points too when you're uh, working at your homestead. Like, subscribe, and share. I really appreciate it. Leave a comment. Let me know if you have a recipe for dog treats. You can add flaxseed to this. You can add cinnamon, chopped up apples, anything you'd like. Um, I tried to keep mine very basic uh, this time, but you can dress them up as you would like, and uh, I'm sure your dogs will love them. Thanks, you guys, and I'll see you next time.